Hey Tim, look at this. Uh, needs work. Ugh. Hey Tim, how about this? Uh, still needs work. Darn it. How about this? Nice, high five. All right, we're on. Okay, hey everybody, how's it going? It has been a long time, but we're back. How mm. long has it been? Uh, three years. Your name's... Yeah. Tim. And my Tim. name's Michael. <laughs> That's how long it's been. Uh, and welcome back to TMI, the, the Tim and Michael Information, information Show. Show. Yes, I was right. say, I was like, hey guys, how's it going? My name's Tim, my name's Michael. And that's, yeah. uh, I don't know how why I remember that, you know. And this is this is how new it's going to be. We're going to actually adjust it for everybody right here so we get more real estate on sure. Tim. Oh, thank you, go. yes. We can have more balance. This is, I think our teachers would be proud. I hope so. Talking about, really like, you know, so. a space uh, shape length. So, yes, it's been three years since we did whatever the last one is. And I'm sure you're going to go back and look at it. I'm going to go back mm -hmm. and look and see what the last right. one that we posted. Let's go yeah. ahead and first do the catch up one, right? Sure. We've yeah. been doing the last three that's years. A good idea. Go so. ahead. All right. Well, for the last three years, uh, I've been getting a little older, <laughs> maybe a little wiser. Uh, I, I don't know if we this ever came out on the show, but the whole time we've been doing the show, I've been uh, working at Disneyland and Tomorrowland attractions. And uh, right after our last episode, I um, made a little career step up, became a supervisor. So I was the uh, one of the commanders on the Finding Nemo submarine voyage, which was super fun. Uh, and then just a couple of months ago, I actually left Disney, and now I'm working for a small business. So I went from a cast of thousands to an office of three people, including myself. Uh, so I'm the office manager and graphic designer for a uh, small business that does uh, light maintenance, holiday decor, banners, just all kinds of things. We're really a catch-all of, um, of services. So I am running around uh, getting paperwork done, uh, keeping all the loose ends tied up, and uh, at some point, I'll start doing a lot of uh, creative graphic design stuff for them, too. Uh, the last three uh, three months, being at the tail end of December, we've been doing a lot of holiday decor, which the creative is already done. Uh, but once that wraps up, then I'll get the juices flown and start having some fun. Congratulations, so, man. Thank you. I, I mean, you, I remember getting little updates about you leaving and going mm -hmm. on to the next thing. Uh, but uh, it's nice to actually catch up on all of the details of it all is. that. And I know that you probably, with the firm, can't show me all of the things you're working on, but anything that you do finish, do let me know, because I, yeah. I, I, I miss seeing your work as well. And yours as well, and um, at some point we'll have to have another show and tell, which I think we used to do, so. Yeah, I have a tablet yeah. now. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Those are, what kind of tablet? It's a little Wacom tablet. Oh, that's that kind of tablet. It's yeah. just just a little, you know, uh, oh, not, not, a, not like, like an iPad, iPad tablet, yeah. No. I have a drawing tablet sure. now. When we were going to school together, uh, it was the first time I ever did anything digital art related, and I remember working on the Cintiqs in the lab, um, and I sort of jumped because I went into a screen that you could draw directly onto as opposed to just being able to work. But I've done so much Photoshop since mm -hmm. school for posters and shows that I oh, really right. do, yeah. and even just my birthday invites or Photoshop. I, I Photoshop left and right. Um, that I just got used to doing it all with a mouse. And mm -hmm. so now having an actual tablet just to even do the, the ants, you know, mm -hmm. you know, around while you're cutting and pasting sure. uh, is, is a godsend. So uh, thank you to uh, Rachel who gifted me that tablet for my birthday. Wow. It's kind of hard to tell, birthday, October, and You're then... Pretty close for you, aren't you? Birthday and Christmas? He, I suppose so, only yeah. because I don't celebrate my birthday in... Um, uh, October, I celebrated in November, as you know, because right. I work, uh, actually, I guess that's a little update. So, uh, after nine years of a hiatus from Knott's Berry Farm, I returned mm. to Knott's Entertainment, and it has been one of the most wonderful, uh, spiritually rewarding, uh, gratifying <laughs> things that I've ever done. Um... I absolutely love people. I, I, I love working with people. I love meeting people. <coughs> uh, families have amazing stories to share. Mm -hmm. um, they're, uh, they're inspiring, mm -hmm. endlessly inspiring. And in a job where <clears throat> it's never the same thing based on what time of the year it is, or even mm -hmm. week to week, you know, um, that's been so, so good. And I was actually working both that and I think I may have mentioned on some of our other episodes that I was working GameStop over the mm. last four years. When I hit my four-year anniversary this past October, I called it quits. Mm. 
because I started as a GA and then I was a key holder and then I actually told them I wanted to demote myself. I wanted hmm. to get my key holder shift away because I didn't have time to do anything artistic. Right. I didn't have enough time to do anything creative. I was only doing uh, maybe one show a year, you know, for myself and then only writing another hmm. show a year, which I know still seems like maybe something <clears throat> for some, but I, I, I used to do at least three you know, and punch out a couple more scripts than that right, you know, every yeah. single year. So I felt myself slowing down, and I hadn't had a chance to do anything creative. But I got to say, leaving one job and focusing on one and having enough time to focus on other artistic endeavors, especially when you're trying to dig your heels in and see if you can make money with any of that, right. has also been great because now I feel like I can breathe. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap now. Yeah. And just like that, I have to carry the rest of the show by myself. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's where I've um, I've been fortunate with my current position because I spent. I feel like this whole year uh, has been me one story of me hunting for a job and then finally getting it a couple of years uh, years ago. So like when mom does a Christmas letter, what did you do this year, Tim? Uh, I looked for a job and I got one. Uh, but it's a lot of work. I mean, I was I'm working forty hours a week at Disney or was, and mm -hmm. I would just come home and punch out resumes and cover letters, and then maybe like put a sketch into my sketchbook at the end of it. <laughs> and I, um, I I wasn't expecting to get something artistic. My most um, uh, marketable skills, at least in terms of past experience on the job and not just doing classwork, have been more more business and management type things as a supervisor. So I was looking for that, and by you know, by God's good grace, I found something that brings together management and art. And I'm glad you did. You so, know, I think yeah. everything is starting to fall in. I feel like <coughs> the last couple of years have been some of the hardest, not just for I think mm -hmm. uh, any one of us, but just uh, people in general. I know that some people have gone through uh, several losses, whether mm -hmm. it be with work or family. Um, just it seems it's been pretty rocky. Um, but I hope that's all the more inspiration, especially if any of you are going through any uh, of those struggles to um, really kick it in the face and say, you're not going to get me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we can maybe uh, close this little small one to a close because yeah, there's other definitely. things we have to talk about. And I don't even know how many minutes we're at, but it's probably one of the shorter videos we've ever done. Sure. Yeah, I, th I think we're pretty caught up. You know? Yeah. That's our it is good to be show. back with you. It is. it is really good to be back yeah, here and just chatting. And I think we should point out that this hasn't just been a hiatus of us from uh, you, our audience. We haven't seen a lot of each other. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen, I don't think you've been doing as many classes at Fullerton College. And No, I haven't. Uh, Taking a separate direction. I actually, yeah, I, after after um, <clears throat> Grandma got ill, that's kind mm -hmm. of when I disappeared. And that was, you know, one of the most, ending on a positive note, mm -hmm. one of the most inspiring things is I remember back in the day, we were trying to get a club started, the Easel uh, yes! Club. Yes, yes, yes. And um, uh, I remember chatting with uh, Alina mm -hmm. Baccarino mm -hmm. and... Yep. Uh, Christina Cornette, right, and we were uh, a couple of us were sitting around the table, and I remember feeling like I was failing everybody because we had gone through, I don't know, at least it felt like it felt like a couple of years, even though it's probably only half a semester, mm -hmm. uh, trying to fight to get that paperwork done just so we could have a club, just so they could recognize us as a club organization, and going through all these struggles. And when we finally got it going, um, my home you know, life sort of needed me to be there so I could just focus on family. Everybody was wonderful and understanding, and I remember feeling like I was failing everybody, but they were really, really great at saying, like, no, you're fine. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to um, Allison Tercero. Oh, Allison's great. And, yeah. yeah, she's awesome. And she was showing me um, this really, really awesome clown that she made for... The, uh, I don't know if you call it life drawing because usually you're focusing on, you know, the, mm -hmm. the muscles and everything and then you're working with like nude forms. Costume figure drawing. Cos or, yeah, a, li a, fig a figure life drawing correct, yeah. for, for easel. Mm -hmm. She, did, she yeah. did it for the club. Yeah. And I was like, I saw hashtag easel. I was like, the club has a hashtag, mm -hmm. you know? And, to, and then I remember telling her, I'm like, it's still going. And then she was like, oh yeah, they do all sorts yeah. of things. And, and that just... You know, I I feel like all I was all I was doing was paperwork in the day, and then I didn't actually do anything to like give back to the club <laughs> because I left. Yeah. 
but then to know that it's still going in two different facets um, is really, really inspiring. So um, if you ever feel like you're doing a lot of work and you're not seeing any end result for it, um, I firmly believe that it all pays itself off. And I firmly believe that the universe does provide. I, I really believe that firmly because everything's just going to work out. You know, you, you get back what you give. There's a song in there somewhere. I think there's been one written, I'm sure. We'll find it eventually, and then we'll share it with you. So, think you only get what you give. Okay, now now that I sang that, do I have to say cover of whoever that song is? Whatever. Uh, YouTube's got to come after us. And... Oh, no, we're saying music. We're not a music uh, channel. That's, we're whatever we want to be. <laughs> we, yeah. This show is going to just evolve and grow in whatever direction. It's really just us spouting our mouths off and talking about whatever's on our head. And for all the handful of people that care to listen, hey, thanks. Yeah. And, and you know what? If, if, if one person uh, hears some sort of story and it helps you through whatever you're going through or helps spark an idea uh, in your uh, uh, artistic life or even just personal when you're going through the struggles of life and woe, uh, hey, we're happy mm -hmm. that, we're, that we're giving something back to the world. So. Absolutely. I wish we had a clapboard that we could click the end of this so and cut yeah thanks for watching this particular episode guys it's nice to be back and we will see you in a couple more episodes all right